Nigeria in trouble might be wiped out completely, Ngege said. The Minister of Labor and Productivity, Chris Ngege, has said that Nigeria as a country is in trouble and facing a cyclic problem. He said that if people at the grassroots are not given education or at least provided with jobs, it will get to a point that Nigeria might be totally wiped out. The minister spoke on Tuesday during the inaugural Partnership Economic Summit organized by the Ministry of Special Duties and Intergovernmental Affairs in Abuja. He said at the summit, targeted translating sustainable development goals to local businesses in Nigeria. We are in trouble as a country. We are in trouble and nobody who tells you he doesn't know we are in trouble. He is lying to himself and once you lie to yourself, we are facing a problem that is cyclic. One begats the other. It is left for you and me, the allies to decide to save ourselves, our, save our children and save our country. If we keep on with these sim symptoms, buy ammunition, bomb these people, bomb kidnappers, bomb Boko Haram, you will be wasting resources. If you had prevented it, it would cost you less. We must give education to these people at the grassroots. Those who can't get an education, we must provide them jobs so that they can fend for themselves. They can put a roof over their heads on the solution to the many problems facing the country, Ngiki said. If you don't kill ignorance, you are breeding people who would be brainwashed to be believed that with Biafra, all their problems will go away. Odudua, all their problems will go. Boko Haram, if, you, if we don't tackle them, we will continue like this until this country might be wiped out completely. We don't pray for that. We must give education to the people at the grassroots. Okay, if you ask me, I will say Ingege. I just spoken what an hungry man looking for recognition we speak if you ask me though because i don't really even understand what he's talking about at all all these politicians too much chicken and juice don't they affect their brain they talk without thinking they go just open their mouth to talk yes we know that education is important but can you ask someone to go to school on an empty stomach i don't get you people at all hmm. anyway I know, say people for the comment section will be the one to answer this man best and not me. Someone said, let that humanitarian affair woman hear this. Because she has formed a habit of pampering her illiterate northerners with arms and other free government funds without recourse to what Ngige said. Southerners are improving, unlike the north, that are habitually illiterate. Hmm. Okay, and someone has said, it is not the same type of preaching that got you Minister of Labor many years ago and Governor of a state many years ago before. Well, now tell me what have you and your colleague been doing to achieve this year's, if not terror groups like Boko Haram, Banditry and separatists like IPOB and Odudua. Tell me when will you and your colleagues stop deceiving yourselves and the masses you led. Can't those brains in your skull let you know it's time to go our separate ways? Hmm. Thank you, sir, for taking note of this dangerous matter. As a minister, when will the government start implementing your suggestion? Hmm. Too little, too late of the Olympia class. Is he becoming aware of the gravity situation now? There was a country called Nigeria. Ha! Ah. Okay, if that happens, you are one of those that be held responsible, okay? This government and indeed the political office orders in this 
how suffer any bandit test men governments are all sick and clueless. Hmm. Why someone else here said a minister of labor with empty brain who is in charge of employment, nonsense vision, less leader, classical minister of unproductivity. Hmm. Well, hunting with the horns and running with the highs. Hmm. Greetings, so okay. Don't know why all these people, all these politicians are just fond of just one thing, which is what? To come out and start spilling garbage everywhere. With all the poisons they have spilled everywhere, they still do come here to start saying all sorts of rubbish, all sorts of things that will only get Nigerians and and I wonder what they are even made of that they don't feel the cry or the pains of the masses. According to Ngige Nigeria, could be wiped out. It is the same Nigeria Fenikaniadi allergized Buhari is a pity FFK is finished. Hmm. Shebi your party is in power and doing well. Sell them this at the executive council meeting. Hmm. Will he dare say it? He wouldn't dare. If he dares to say anything of such in that meeting, that would be the end of him. You can make your point clear without being insultive, okay? Insultive indeed. That's why Nigeria is still where they are. He will still buy him juice before taking, before talking to him, okay? You that can move Nigeria forward, please come out and move it. All the fools you have called them, has it changed anything? Hmm. My dear, it has not changed anything, or instead, it has making the case even worse. Your statement is correct, Mr. Minister, but have you only succeeded to expose your failure? Ha! You know the truth, but being in a government for these numbers of years and you fail to influence the government is wickedness to this country. Hmm. All of them that are coming out to speak now, do you really think that they are speaking of we? They are not speaking for us at all. They are just trying so hard to make themselves recognize they just want us to remember that they are still in politics so that if the case they want to come out for any post we will vote for them that is what they are doing they are just trying to make us remember that they are still alive that's what all these politicians are fond of that's what they do when it's time for election they all come out and start clamoring and start sharing their nonsense ideas start promising things that they know they won't do well, politicians are known for one thing. They don't mean what they say and they don't say what they mean. That is how they are. At least with all this level of insecurity in the country, we should know that politicians are not to be trusted at all. Buhari promised us heaven on earth and look at where we are now. Just imagine what a country, what a shameful Nigeria, Nigeria has become now. Well, you can go to the comment section and share your take on this article. Thanks for listening.